Uh, hello and welcome, and today we have another replay for you from uh, Starman against Han Power. And we are pretty close to be Han in this power. Because, uh, well, not Han, not Hanik, Hungarian rather. Because uh, we are playing, not we are playing, they are playing Poland now. I only said it's pretty close because they have the same peasant skin. So, um, um, pretty similar units in a way. But um, let's see how that works out here. It's a lock cabin start on, I think, strange resources. This might actually be the normal 4k. The one setting that only Sergio plays normally, but uh, if he ever plays it is. Yeah. No peace time though on these lock cabins. Except that the players sell all their ammunition before, will deal a lot of damage and make them impenetrable by pipemen for a little while. Until they get archers or so, I don't know about it. To the Pumic Center, so I consider it's on, because how else are you supposed to beat these lock cabins? It wouldn't make any sense to play these settings with all these lock cabins, which are basically overpowered towers. And not have any two diplomatic sent on to even counter them. One lock cabin can defend you against a whole bunch of men because the fire rate is like MG42 or so. There's, a, you know, the kind of meme, there's just some kind of, well, Napoleonic Kant sitting in this black lock cabin and shooting his musket Gewehr 42 or so. But enough of these jokes. We're here for a game and Starman is going for musketeers. Interesting choice. For some reason, Huntower decided to research this one upgrade that lets us see resource deposits. One of the least useful upgrades in the game, as I think. I don't know why he wasted 500 gold on that. At least I think it's 500 gold. But I might as well be mistaken. Oh, uh, Starman doesn't have it and it's 250 gold, so I was mistaken, it was half. But it's still a waste of gold in my opinion. Don't get it upgrade, it's not worth it. You can't even see the resource upgrades through the dark map, I think. You need a uh, line of sight, I think. But I don't know what I'm talking about once more because I don't use this upgrade. And there we go, Han Power is apparently trying to attack Starman now, but uh, it's uh, hopeless because of these lock cabins, of course, and Han Power only has one barrack and two stables. Two stables are pretty good, but what, what do you want with one barrack and no diplomatic center in this mode? Why do you need a diplomatic center to even deal any damage? Not knowing Tussas will be able to go across these map lock cabins without getting shot to bits. With the fire rate of like 1500 RPS or so. It looks like Han Power sold his entire coal, coal um, resource deposit, so he doesn't. He's basically defenseless if Starman attacks now. Why well, not anymore? He just built a coal mine, but even with that, his uh, current coal store is going to run dry pretty pretty quickly, especially just because he just sold or used his entire iron store as well. He isn't even fully manning his mind, so um, that's another another bad thing. I forgot, is this gold or silver? Because it could be both. But I think it's gold.
Handpower has some pikemen and some winged hussars against Starman, while Starman has a bunch of musketeers and some light infantrymen against Handpower. Even using some of his musketeers to run through the wilderness for some reason. Handpower now built a second barrack, but uh, he is still lacking the Dushmaric Center. And he already has a massive army disadvantage in both quality, probably, and numbers. So the things are already not, not, not the things are already not looking good for him. As Diamond already has all of his barrack upgrades for the musketeers, the crucial ones, the attack ones, the defense ones are optional, but they are quite nice when you have to fight against cavalry early on. But um, these few wing tusas are not going to be any threat to be honest. He would need like three or four times this mass, but. Uh, for that, he, for that again, he would need the faster cavalry production upgrade, which he's not going to get anytime soon, because he just started to put a diplomatic center, which is going to take time and work. I always felt like this is one of the slowest buildings to build, apart from the academy that's even slower to build. And for some reason Starman is holding very much back, probably because he doesn't have his fire rates yet. No he doesn't. And uh, Hanhauer still... Well he has his 4-4 four, four pikes, which is uh, not really anything. They are still... Mm, the light infantry mercenaries can still match them with numbers and power. With, with hand power, ha 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 ha, and funny. Uh, with attack power. Especially considering that hand power only built his third barracks. Uh, third barracks, yes, no. Second barracks, very recently. So, Starma could probably attack now and still win. But it's good to roll safe and think about it, in case you uh, fuck it up in the end, which wouldn't be so nice. And I was now apparently trying to raid Starman with his winged hussars. I think he might learn ab about the invention of the rock cabin soon. But for some reason Starman is completely withdrawing, which he can't afford, he has rock cabins. I don't know what Handhauer is thinking here. As he doesn't even produce any any diplomatic center archers, he only produces a lot of siege Cossacks and nothing on the infinity line. So he's wasting even more time like this, which is a disappointment. He certainly does have a goal to produce something, it's not like that. But he doesn't. Probably he's setting up for something, I don't know. Maybe for the next pike up pike attack upgrade. It doesn't seem like it. <coughs> Pardon me. But uh my throat is like is getting a bit dry. And I don't want to drink right now. Looks like Starman is uh, introducing power to his block cabins. And I don't know why Handpower is charging into the clear range of the block cabins. Oh, they are not even. They haven't even shot for most of the battle and they still lost majorly. Is it probably because Starman has. No, oh, Starman doesn't have a fire rate. It's just because the Polish musketeers already on their own fire a bit faster than normal musketeers. That's one thing they have in common with the Hungarian and the Dutch musketeers. But I think from the whole bunch the Dutch musketeers are probably the best, because they have more range as well. So the Polish and Hungarian 70s musketeers should clearly dominate in numbers.
matching the numbers of normal pipe men, I think, because they only need 4.5 seconds to produce, and I don't know what normal pipe men, but weren't they also something around there? The, the generic acceptance pipe men, which are usually used. It is a viable tactic to go for Polish musketeers instead, I think. Or Hungarians. Or Dutch. Depends on what nation you are playing. Just requires you to sit back and think about your steps a little bit more than usual. And Han Power has one cannon, and he is using it against the musketeers, I think, of Starman. Well, one cannon is nice and all, but he doesn't have anything to back it up with. In fact, he doesn't back it up at all. He's just putting it forward and not withdrawing it into somewhat safe range or putting up his pikes so they can protect it. Apparently, Hunt is just is just is just, is, is just bombarding the area, so he's wasting some ammunition, a lot of ammunition, though he has a lot as well. Because he doesn't use anything else, anything else he can shoot, but he still continues to shoot on. He even has a drummer nearby, so he should be able to see where he is where he is shooting at. He's now sending some siege cossacks over this uh, little peninsula on the right, on the bottom right. I don't think that's going to work out a lot, because uh, Starman already seems to have noticed it. Or well, so it seems. Probably he didn't as well. He's just continuing to go and just let Han Power go into his peasants. And the capture appears to be off. No, no peasant capture at least. Han Power manages managed to destroy some peasants, a storehouse, and the uh, artillery depot. But he doesn't destroy the storehouse, only the depot. So this was a questionable sacrifice. But whatever Rose's boat should be good enough for him. Perhaps this was his plan all along, and we just didn't know it. I am not, I'm not... I'm not entitled to know. And I probably don't want to know either, but now he's building a, a little wall. Which doesn't even connect up with the border of the sea. So, um, this wall is also of questionable use. Because Starman can simply go around it. If you want other way doesn't connect up to the sea, so it isn't sealed off. Especially this little strait that's right next to it, it's not sealed off either, and Starman is preparing a rather large group of winged hussars to go around it, and to uh, tell Han Power how bad his wall is. And there we go, the wall has been uh, went around. This could almost be compared to the Mongol invasion of China in the Great Chinese Wall. Or for a more recent comparison, the Maginot Line and the German Reich. You can just go around and it will work. <coughs> Excuse me. At least it will work for some time, it won't be permanent, as we saw with both comparisons, but it will work. That's the main point. Right now Han Power is building a bunch of towers. I don't know why. He isn't even protecting the Southern Towers properly. 
and the uh, towers are very vulnerable to cannons, so Stama, if he wins the cannon engagement, Stama can just simply set, sit back and shell the cannon to death. And Hunter was also sending his cannons extremely close forward, shelling infantrymen instead of musketeers. What is his idea? I really don't get it. Now he's building musketeers as well, but uh, he's just sending a small detachment forward, which doesn't even miss, which, which isn't even range to protect his cannons. And now he's sending the little detachment forward to protect the cannons, which is not going to work whatsoever. And oh, and there goes one cannon. The tower has not been finished. In fact, none has been finished. Uh, apart from one, of course, that's right below the market, but that doesn't count. That doesn't range for anything. Ooh, this is actually closer than I anticipated. Or expected. Whatever word fits more at the moment, I'm tired. Don't blame me, please. And before you ask, if you haven't seen last video, I'm... I have to repeat, I'm not Call of it, I'm Imperator Ricardo. You might know me from the streams, I'm the guy who, who says only English, or English only, and the guy who only plays Scotland, so yeah, that's me, hello! It looks like it's already... Like it's lo it really looks like the candle has been blown for an hour now. It also appears like the replay has, has glitched for some, for some reason. Because uh, Starman's men are just standing around and uh, chilling next to Han Power's men. So I suppose this is probably where one or other gave up. Probably Han Power gave up. So uh, yeah, this one goes to Starman as well. So yeah. That's it for this video, and I, uh, I forgot what I wanted to say next. Oh well, um, I'll see you in the next video, and until then, uh, yeah. Adios, I'd say, and enjoy the time that's in between these, yeah. Bye.